with one of my friends, Lisa Osborne, oh. and we are filming a collab video for both of our channels. You guys need to go check out her YouTube channel, Raddest Mom. It is pretty awesome. I will link it in the bottom bar below. But today we wanted to come to you with some really fun Halloween treat ideas. So we have some dragon's blood sangria, some dirt, uh, amputated fingers, mm -hmm. and just really cute chocolate covered Oreos with sprinkles because I mean who doesn't like those. Then do you want to tell them what we did on your channel? Yeah, we did a nice DIY fall and Halloween decor. Some really cheap and easy ideas that you can do probably the stuff that you already have in your pantry and yeah, stuff that you can get absolutely. at the grocery store, dollar store, whatever and leftover vases from flowers and whatnot. So check it out. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys how we made all of this and it was really freaking quick and easy and was. we had a lot of fun doing it. We to start your sangria, you just wanna take one bottle of Merlot wine and we are going to add this to a pitcher and then she is going to go ahead and add one apple that has been diced and half a cup of grapes. I know we've been eating it this whole time, it's so good. In one diced apple and half a cup of grapes that have been halved. So we're just gonna start pouring that in there. I don't want the red to like splash on the camera. I had no idea that this is how sangria was made. Really? What did you think? I don't know. I didn't think. Then we have two tablespoons of honey that has been warmed, and you're going to slowly pour that in, but keep mixing so that it really is incorporated. Then you want to put this in the refrigerator, preferably for at least two hours, but if you don't have that much time, we're probably going to be drinking this in about an hour, to be honest. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and stick that in the refrigerator and let it sit. Okay, so next we're going to do some amputated finger wieners. Yes, so she's going to be on cutting wiener duty and I'm going to be on cutting onion duty. I actually am not a huge fan of onions. But it's for the fingernail, so it's a little bit necessary. So making the little fingers, you just want to start here and slice off a little tip for the fingernail, and then go about halfway down and do three sideways slices. So it's going to look like a finger. There you go. And the onion is going to be the nail tip. So you want to cut a little piece of onion, and we're going to stick that on with some ketchup. It's gonna look like a fun rare. Okay, so I think we've got enough here. We're gonna go ahead and toss these in the hot boiling water with the onions. Now, then dip the end in where it's been severed. This is disgusting, but so cute. Oh my gosh, it kind of like, ew! It's Ugh. like a bloody fingernail. Don't they look like zombie fingers? Yeah, they're gross. But they're gross, but kids will think that these are so funny. Next thing we are going to show you guys how to make is super simple, but always the first thing to go at any of my parties. So what you want to do is get some Oreos, and we have two different Halloween fall flavors here. The first one is regular Oreos, but it is just like the Halloween version with the orange cream. And this one is a, a pumpkin spice with a vanilla cookie. So we are going to be dipping these both in white chocolate. You can use any color chocolate, but I just feel like the sprinkles show up really well on white chocolate. And then we have the Halloween sprinkles that we are going to be sprinkling on top of them. You want to set it on a waxed paper lined plate or cooking tray or anything like that and pop it in the fridge so that the chocolate will set. And like I said, it's super simple, but always like the first thing to go when I have parties. Um, it always, people just like them. So we're gonna get started. I'll be dipping, you'll be sprinkling. We'll do a little bit of orange. And some of these non, non perils, non perils. You got me. That's the official name for like candy sprinkles. Oh, that's. Cute. Oh my gosh. I can see why these are a, a hit. It, they're always the first thing to go, and I'm like, guys, I spend so much time on everything else, and you guys want the Oreos, basically. Love it. The black sugar. Now we're gonna pop these in the fridge so they can set. Next, we're gonna be making something that most people refer to as dirt. So basically, you need some Oreos, and I like to use the chocolate Oreos because then none of your dirt has like white flecks in it, like the cream from the normal Oreos. So you need Oreos, 
You need some gummy worms. I like the not sour kind because those look like, I would like to say not as real, but do these really look yeah. real? No, <laughs> whatever. Some neon worms. You right. need some chocolate pudding. We're gonna use the already made one because it's easier. It's so much easier. Then you need some black gel writing, um, what's it called? Icing. Icing, yes. And we are going to write RIP on Milano cookies. We are going to put some of the Oreos into a plastic bag and bang them up so that we have little chunks of dirt. Put your back into it. <laughs> so now we got these snacky packies. And so if I'm correct, the pudding goes in the bottom and then the, the crumbs go yes. on the top, right? Yeah, that's there. plenty. Do another one. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our dirt. We're just gonna crumple some of this up on top of here. Ew, dirt, ew. <laughs> Pearl would be being like so dramatic right now. She was in here doing this. That bag does look pretty gross. It does. Yeah. So now on some, we can put some gummy worms, and on some, we can do some Milano cookies. So, so we're going to do like a worm coming out. Yeah, like super cute. So we're going to take some black gel icing, and we're just going to do a nice little... R.I.P. Sweet little sentiment on this Milano cookie and it actually looks like a tombstone. That is so cute. Now that we're done making our three treats, we're going back to the sangria so we can finish that up. So what you want to do is take your sangria out of the fridge, preferably after about two hours, but ours has only been in there for about an hour. And you want to add some dark cherries that have been pitted and frozen. And if you keep them frozen, then it kind of acts as ice and it chills your sangria even more. So there's no right or wrong. I like to add a little bit more because I feel like it soaks up the alcohol and it tastes really yummy. Yeah. So I like to add more than you need to, but I think the recipe calls for maybe like half a cup or a cup. Yum, that's perfect. And then you also want to go ahead and add about 12 ounces of club soda. Um, so I'm gonna add like a third of this. That's about right. And stir it up, and then we are going to enjoy this and taste it. Okay. It's supposed to be dragon's blood. Nice. Yeah, no. Let's pour some. All right, ready? Ready. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. That tastes so good. That's amazing. And I love how the cherries kind of act as ice without diluting the drink. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do regular ice, it'll kind of make it like watered down. But like yeah. when you do the frozen cherries, it'll just keep it cold the whole time. Mmm, I want to taste the... That's so delicious. I love it. This is like really cool. I'm going to do this for my Halloween party. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs up if you did and don't forget to head over and check out Lisa's channel because we did a video on her channel that is really inexpensive, DIY, super easy fall home decor that's really cute. So I will link that video down below and we will see you guys later. Bye. I don't know how I avoid eating Oreos. You know, honestly, I only eat them when I see them. I shop at like Whole Foods and um, they don't really have Oreos in Whole Foods. So that's, I guess I'm kind of like, I feel like if I saw them, I would, I would buy them and eat them. Oh my goodness. I like, right? I like the